you want to join? My name's Andrew Fionda, and I love the little black dress. So obviously, um, Coco Chanel invented the little black dress at a time when it wasn't trendy for women to wear black because it was associated with mourning dress, uh, thanks to Queen Victoria, I guess. So Coco Chanel is very much responsible for the little black dress um, and obviously probably still has a little black dress in their collection every single season because they're like an investment buy as well. So if you can only afford one dress every year, it has to be a little black dress because you know it will still look great next year and the year after, depending on how you style it up or decorate it or, or whatever. Uh, whereas if you spend all your money on that flowery gypsy dress, it'll look great this season, but it won't look great next season. It'll date really quickly. But that little black dress, I promise you, will be in your wardrobe every year. I just think with the little black dress, you have to be really clever. I think they can look really cheap and nasty, but they can equally look like a million dollars. Uh, but nobody knows whether it did cost a million dollars or whether it is from Primark because it's how you wear it and it's how you accessorize it. Whereas with most other dresses, it is what it is. It's a flowery gypsy dress or it's a, a stripy bardot dress. It is what it is. But with a little black dress, you can dress it right up or you can pair it right down and it's more versatile and therefore it's really useful in, in a woman's wardrobe. Inspired by Andrew Fionda's rich knowledge of the little black dress, our team were encouraged to talk about their little black dresses what they mean to them. I think my style changes from time to time. It depends what looks good on me on the day. If I'm sad, I'll wear black. If I'm happy, I'll wear black. It doesn't really matter, but at the same time, I feel like I'm a skater girl, but I don't know how to skate. So I just kind of steal that brand and I can wear denim on denim. I still think I look good, but that's me. My style really depends on the mood that I'm in. I'm kind of like a, a, a grungy sort of look, but then it can come to being like a 40 year old mum wearing a flannel and a pair of jeans. I can have a day where I'm just in leggings and like, an old band t-shirt and then other days I'll I'll look decent and wear like skirt and tights and look all right. <laughs> I like everything. I like having like different styles for different days, you know, everything in my wardrobe can go with any style, so. I love this dress because it can be styled as casual to sexy. I think my nipple piercings look good with them. I can wear denim jackets with them, go to lectures. It just depends on the dress or the day or what I'm doing because I think this dress looks really good on me. And I stole it from my sister. On what occasion? Well, I love this dress because it is my go-to dress when I'm in a panic. I feel like I can wear it with kind of like, if I want to go to a nice party or to a New Year's Eve event, like I will just wear this dress. I just think it looks great. Like it hugs my curves and makes me look, like I feel sexy in the dress, so yeah. Um, I think many people love the little black dress because um, black is a forgiving colour, it doesn't show off all your flaws. Uh, if anything, it makes your silhouette look nicer. Um, I think that black suits every woman. There's, It goes with everything, uh, you can accessorise it with anything, it's very versatile. Um, I like the front because it's got like details on it little cut out bit at the front and it's very like baggy so even if I don't cut it, it's like you know not showing any of my bad bits Piece of fashion history that represents the every woman and is definitely a timeless classic.